think that every American right now um, has a right to feel like they need a better verification process. I mean, this is not right, what's happening. I think you're going to wind up in a situation, Chris, with half the country basically not trusting the results of the election. How bad is that? In other words, why is it that we suddenly keep finding these votes that are coming out of thin air? Or why is it that the counting suddenly stops? I mean, the, the broken pipe in Georgia in the middle of the night? For goodness sakes, I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of a big deal election. States should have been better prepared for this. I'm disappointed in many states all across the country. And I have a lot of questions. I mean, a lot of questions. Just look at the Project Veritas report. Apparently, a postal worker there talking about how they had to backdate effectively some of the ballots to the day before. And then you've got a situation in Pennsylvania, right, where the court's okaying ballots that, that don't have a clear time stamp or a clear date stamp, mm -hmm. I mean, or, or, or are not verified. Right. I mean, this is troubling, troubling, troubling stuff. Yeah, I, I want to ask you, because we got a great jobs report, and perhaps maybe uh, because of President Trump's administration of the economy, maybe the last one we might see, depending on how this whole thing goes. But if, if by chance we are cursed with Obama's third term, with a, a Beijing <laughs> I know, Biden enjoy win. it while you can. I, I, exactly right. I mean, how, how many of these positive, great jobs numbers do you expect to see in the future, knowing what Mr. Biden has in store and Camilla Harris has in store for us? You know, what they have in store for us is a bunch of artificial stimulus that actually won't fundamentally move the needle. It may, you know, make the markets a little bit happier in the near term. Don't forget, during the Barack Obama, Joe Biden years, you know what? The middle class didn't do so well. In fact, middle class incomes didn't do nearly as well as they have done under Donald Trump, as well as lower income Americans. It saw their, their median incomes go up by nearly 9% during the last uh, 2016 through 2019. So, uh, you know, the policies themselves actually matter. Lower taxes, less regulation. You've heard me say it a zillion times, Chris. It actually does result in some meaningful change. I want to point out, what was it, you know, five years that it took Barack Obama to bring the unemployment rate down to 6.9%, and this president managed to do mm -hmm. it in five months. So, I, you know, again, <laughs> um, it's not just him, it's his team. He's got a good economic team in there. And you need smart economic thinkers when it comes to trying to figure this all out. It's easy to just give out money, yeah. right? They can just keep on giving out right. money or keep printing money over at the Federal Reserve. But can you actually affect change and help grow the economy from a fundamental hey, perspective? You said I'm it. not sure that I'm getting You said it. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.